Hi explorers, today we're diving straight into the world of manatees for kids. These gentle giants live in some of the most beautiful waters on earth, and we've got a ton of fun questions to ask our guest, Marvin the manatee. Hey Marvin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Sam. I'm excited to answer all the kids' questions about manatees. All right, Marvin, let's start with an easy one. What do manatees eat? Seagrass and plants. We're herbivores, so we munch on underwater vegetation all day long. Sometimes we even snack on algae. It keeps us happy and healthy. Grazing also helps us keep seagrass beds trimmed, which benefits the entire ecosystem by allowing sunlight to reach other underwater plants and animals. Imagine having a job that involves eating delicious plants all day. Pretty awesome, right? How long can manatees hold their breath underwater? Great question. When we're resting, we can hold our breath for about 15 to 20 minutes. But when we're swimming, we come up for air every three to five minutes. We're pretty good at timing it just right. Why are manatees so slow? It's just our style. We're all about taking it easy. Moving slowly helps us save energy and makes it easier to graze on seagrass. Plus, we don't have to worry about predators, so there's no rush. Do manatees sleep underwater? Yep, we're great at napping underwater. We'll float near the surface or rest on the bottom, coming up for air without even waking up. It's pretty relaxing. How do manatees protect themselves? Well, we're so big and peaceful that most animals leave us alone. Our main protection is staying close to shallow waters where we're safest. Do manatees have families? We're pretty independent, but moms are super close with their calves. They'll stick together for up to two years, teaching them all about life as a manatee. What's the difference between manatees and dugongs? Great question. Dugongs are our cousins, but they live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They're smaller and have a different shaped tail, more like a whale's tail. How do manatees communicate? We use squeaks, chirps, and whistles. Moms and calves are especially chatty, sharing little chirps to stay close to one another. These sounds help us communicate when we're grazing or even when we're playing. On top of that, we use our body language, like bumping into each other gently, to show affection or even curiosity. It's our way of making sure we're always in sync with each other. Can manatees see well? We have small eyes, but we've got excellent vision underwater. We can even see in dim light, which helps us navigate through murky water. How many species of manatees are there? What do manatees do for fun? We love to play. Sometimes we'll roll around in the water, nudge each other, or even investigate curious things like floating logs or boats. What's the biggest threat to manatees? Boat strikes are a huge problem. That's why it's so important for people to follow speed limits in manatee zones. Pollution and habitat loss are also big issues. Can manatees live in cold water? Not really. We're tropical animals, so we need warm water to survive. When it gets too cold, we gather in warm springs or near power plant outflows. How long do manatees live? In the wild, we can live up to 40 years or more. Some of us in protected environments have even reached 60. Do manatees have teeth? We do, 
but they're special. Our teeth are constantly being replaced as the older ones wear down from chewing tough plants. Pretty cool, huh? Why are manatees important to the ecosystem? We keep seagrass beds healthy by grazing on them, which prevents them from growing too thick and blocking sunlight for other plants. This grazing helps maintain biodiversity in our habitats because many small animals rely on these plants and clear water to survive. We're kind of like underwater gardeners, making sure the environment stays balanced and thriving. Without us, the ecosystem might become overcrowded with plants which could harm other marine life. Marvin, what's your favorite memory? Oh, definitely exploring a new spring with my friends. The water was crystal clear and we found so many tasty plants. It was like a buffet in paradise. Marvin, how do manatees stay warm in winter? We gather in warm springs or areas with warm water outflows, like near power plants. Our bodies can handle cool temperatures for a little while, but warm water is a must for our survival. Why are manatees sometimes called gentle giants? It's because we're big, peaceful, and super gentle. We don't bother other animals and we're known for our calm nature. Can manatees hear well? Oh yes, we have great hearing, especially for high-pitched sounds. It helps us communicate and stay aware of our surroundings. Do manatees ever get sunburned? Not really. Our tough, thick skin protects us from the sun. Plus, we spend a lot of time underwater or in the shade of mangroves. How do manatees find their food? Our sensitive whiskers, called vibrissae, help us feel for seagrass and plants. They're like underwater radar for finding snacks. Do manatees have predators? Not really, since we're so big and strong. Our main threats are humans and habitat destruction, not natural predators. How do baby manatees learn to swim? Their moms teach them. Calves are born knowing how to swim, but their moms help them practice and get stronger. How much do manatees eat in a day? A lot! We can eat up to 10 to 15% of our body weight in plants every day. That's like a never-ending salad bar. Why do manatees have paddle-like tails? Our tails are perfect for swimming. They help us glide smoothly and steer easily through the water. Do manatees ever live in groups? We're usually solitary, but we come together in groups during cold weather or in areas with plenty of food. Do manatees have good memories? Absolutely. Scientists have found that we can remember locations and routines very well. For example, we never forget the best warm springs to visit or where we found the tastiest plants. Can manatees recognize humans? We sure can. We're curious by nature and if someone treats us kindly, we'll often remember them. Just don't feed us. We need to stick to our natural diets to stay healthy. What do manatees use their flippers for? We use our flippers to steer while swimming and to hold onto plants while we eat. Sometimes we even use them to scratch an itch. Do manatees migrate? Yes, some of us do. When it gets too cold, we'll travel to warmer waters like Florida's springs or coastal areas. Migration keeps us warm and happy. Can 
manatees swim fast? We're not built for speed, but we can swim up to 15 miles per hour in short bursts if we need to escape danger. What makes manatees float so easily? Our lungs are super long and stretch along our backs, helping us stay buoyant. It's like having built-in life vests. How do manatees help their environment? By grazing on seagrass, we prevent it from growing too thick, which keeps ecosystems healthy for other marine animals. We're like underwater caretakers. Can manatees hear boat engines? Yes, but sometimes it's hard to hear over the noise of the water. That's why slow speed zones are so important. They give us time to get out of the way. What do manatees do during storms? We find sheltered areas like mangroves or deeper waters where we can stay safe. We're pretty good at riding out rough weather. Wow, explorers. What an incredible journey we've had today. From learning about how manatees are nature's underwater gardeners to exploring their beautiful habitats, it's been an unforgettable adventure. Manatees are more than just gentle giants. They're an important part of our world's ecosystems, helping to keep seagrass meadows thriving and healthy. Seeing real animals like manatees and learning about them reminds us how connected we all are to nature.